there's supposed to be a very difficult time. Self-esteem can be a very big issue. Self-esteem can come from a number of things. Academics, sports, and of course, friends. But how do you start to build your self-esteem? I believe if you find something that you enjoy and something you're passionate about, this builds your self-esteem. But it's not all that easy. We are just a work in progress. An example of somebody who uses their passions to change the world will be Martin Luther King. For me, I tried to find my passion at a very young age of only three years old. First, I tried dance. Then, I tried tumbling. <laughs> But neither of these were very good options because, as I was cute, I wasn't very really coordinated at dance and fell down more than I was standing up and tumbling, which definitely didn't build my confidence. But then I tried horseback riding and absolutely loved it. Even if I wasn't necessarily on the horse, I was constantly thinking about it. And when I did finally drive my parents to the barn, I just soaked up everything I could and enjoyed it to the fullest. That. And then I started competing at local horse shows, and I did pretty well, which definitely built my confidence. Now, it built my confidence not only in horseback riding, but also in my academics, which was very good, because as I was, as teachers would say, a reluctant reader. And horseback riding gave me something to read about, and as I started reading more and more about horses, it built my confidence and my reading level. And horseback riding also gave me a chance to just spend time with my friends and show them something that I was not only good at, but that I enjoyed. So, for me, confidence equals self-esteem. And self-esteem equals, re equals results in my life. But why does this to me? Let's look at some research. Many studies have shown that self-esteem and academic performance are linked together. One study showed that a student with a very high IQ but a lower self-esteem had average results, while a student with lower IQ and a high self-esteem had higher results than the student with the higher IQ, which just goes to show that self-esteem plays a very important role in academic performance. So, for me, Horseback riding built my confidence, and my confidence built my self-esteem, which then equaled results in other aspects of my life. For example, academics, which just went to prove instead of horseback riding distracting me from my studies, it actually gave me the confidence that I needed to do well. I interviewed my riding instructor, Ms. Eggleston, and asked her how she saw riding affect her life. She told me that she has seen riding, at riding, riding helped her understand the need for practice and that hardly anything is perfect. I also asked her how she has seen riding affect other students' lives. She told me that she has seen success in riding efforts lead to one's abilities to deal with adversities. But how do you start to build confidence? And what will it take? Well, I'll tell you. It takes practice. For me, this meant just many random days in the saddle, practicing the same thing over and over until I felt I could perform it at a high level. The author, Malcolm Gladwell, came up with a theory, the 2000 hour rule. He said some of the best in the field, like Michael Jordan and Bill Gates. He found out that each of these people did what they loved for at least 2000 hours. Now, I'm not saying just to go out and clock 2,000 hours to say you did it, but I do believe that if you find something that you enjoy, you'll spend time doing it and build your confidence. But remember, practice equals self-esteem. And self-esteem is the key to success. So, go out and find your passion. Spend time doing it. And just enjoy doing it. And stick to it and practice. Now, this practice won't always be easy, and it will be hard, but it will pay off. And take the lessons into the rest of your life. And most of all, just remember to enjoy the results. These results might be a first place ribbon. Perhaps 
even just a good laugh with your friends. Or even academics. But for me, it all started with horses. I found something that I loved and something that I was good at, which built my confidence greatly. Horseback riding also let me be the very best me that I could be. So for you, it could be sports, it could be music, perhaps dance, or even 